What's up guys, welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage and once again, the Performance Electronics Dyno. Tonight we are working on getting the variable valve timing set up on this car. How much power can variable valve timing add on a boosted motor? Let's find out, stay tuned. We still don't have our upgraded fuel pump installed, so we can't turn the boost all the way up. We can't do our, you know, end all be all power runs. But what we can do while we wait for all our fittings and stuff to come in is work on the variable valve timing. So first, what I want you to do is comment down below and tell me how much power you guys think variable valve timing will add to the baseline. My assumption, and smarter people than me are the ones that gave me this assumption, is that we're gonna have more power in the mid-range. It will not do anything to peak power. The variable valve timing will be phasing in around 1500 RPM. We don't expect it to you know, show any gains above 6000 RPM. But that whole first you know, third or two thirds of the graph should grow quite a bit. I'm hoping to see 50 foot-pounds of torque, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'm being a little unrealistic, but I don't know. We're going to find out. First, we got to start with a couple baseline pulls. David? You want to explain to the people what your uh, process here is for tuning in DBT? All right, so what I'm going to try to do is hold as many other variables constant as I can so we can tell if changing the valve angle is actually increasing torque at that RPM. And uh, it's a little harder to do with boosted engines because it's a challenge in itself sometimes to keep boost perfectly consistent. Um, not too bad when you have electronic boost control. So the first thing I'm doing is just making sure that we keep boost constant and then from there uh, I'm going to slowly add in in five degree increments um, cam angle across the whole board and then we're going to correct fuel and timing to suit that and from there we'll add another five degrees and after a while looking at the torque curves you can get an idea of what cam angle is optimal for each RPM point and then uh, try to smooth that in and all the in-betweens. What he said. Here's a pull with five degrees of variable valve timing. So this graph right here is what we just did. We basically added in five degrees of cam advance. And you can see how much of a bump we're already seeing in the mid-range. Just the entire meat of this graph is moving straight up. So now we're going to look at how it performed with the different VVT values and we're going to make a map out of that and that'll be a good rough map and then from there once we have the, the general shape we can start shifting that shape up and down and seeing if it improved even more so we can do finer adjustments like two degrees. So David's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and build that map and put it back in the car and then we're going to do a run and we're going to optimize air fuel ratio uh, lambda after that and then we can show you what type of gains we saw across the torque curve all right so we did uh, we saved out the tune from earlier in the day the no VVT tune and then we went ahead and uh, tuned VVT for a few hours and we came out with a, a rough VVT tune. Uh, it could use some refining, but I think we're within, you know, 10%. So uh, I went ahead and reloaded that tune in so we can get a, a real ABA test. And uh, these were the results. Between about 
4,040, you know, call it 4,700. We picked up nearly 30 foot pounds the entire time. The thing that's really impressive to me is we moved peak torque from all the way over here at like 6,200 RPM to back here at 4,500 RPM. So we gained like 1,500 RPM of peak torque, which is huge. And uh, if you look at the curve itself, it's, it's very flat. I mean, you're at above 275 foot-pounds of torque from about 4,200 RP, 4, RPM all the way to you know, 6,200 RPM. That's yeah. going to be really good and really drivable on the track. Yeah, especially once we add boost and timing and really get this thing dialed in, it's going to be, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be a good car. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes kind of tuning efforts and uh, David's expertise. It's been a lot of fun to watch. I really am super anxious for that fuel pump to get here so <laughs> we can start to do our power pulls. Until then, we'll see you next time.